I would like to finish this discussion about the mole with one last thought. Let's start with 2.11 moles of calcium chloride. I would like to know how many calcium ions are present and how many chloride ions are present. Calcium chloride is CaCl2. It's an ionic compound and when it dissociates it breaks apart into Ca2 plus and two Cl minuses. So that means every particle of calcium chloride, now this is an ionic compound so we would say every formula unit of calcium chloride would break apart to form one ion of calcium and two ions of chloride. Every one mole of calcium chloride contains one mole of calcium and two moles of chloride. This is like the statement I made several videos ago when I said a dozen cars can have four dozen tires. If I have 2.11 moles of calcium chloride, each one mole has one calcium. So I would have 2.11 moles of calcium ions. I would have twice as much chloride because it's a two to one ratio between the chloride and the calcium chloride. And so I would have 4.22 moles of the chloride ion. Let's do that one more time and then we're done. If I have 0.55 moles of ammonium sulfate, I would like to know how many moles of oxygen atoms are present and how many moles of hydrogen atoms are present. Ammonium sulfate contains the ammonium ion NH4 plus and the sulfate ion SO4 2 minus. So ammonium sulfate is NH4 2 SO4. That means every one mole of ammonium sulfate contains four moles of oxygen and every one mole of ammonium sulfate contains eight moles of hydrogen. The two distributes over. So there are eight moles of hydrogen. If I want to know how many moles of oxygen there are in 0.55 moles of ammonium sulfate, I'm just going to use a 4 to 1 ratio. And I'm going to multiply 0.55 times 4, and I can say I'm going to get 2.20 moles of oxygen. And then I can say that there is an 8 to 1 ratio between the hydrogen and the ammonium sulfate. So if I take 8 times 0.55, I get 4.40 moles of hydrogen.